Hello, and welcome to episode 12 of From the Beginning. Last episode, we built up this here market, market square, market thing, area, you know. And in this episode, I, I think I said something about it last episode, but in this episode, we are just going to be working through uh, adding in some of the houses next to it. Here, out, there, uh, and here. So, let's get to it. And I am thinking about having this one be spruce. So, spruce, spruce. There we go. And an idea I had, and I also think I said this in a previous episode, but an idea I had was really creating like an overhead sort of hanging atmosphere because I want this place to seem cozy and I don't know uh, when you have like houses that sort of like the roof that like leans over top or something like it sort of covers up this roof I don't know that I really want to sort of like achieve that aesthetic so that's what we're going to be going for for this market stall marketplace area now I also have another idea this house is not right! It's one, two, three, four wide, and that is a mistake. Um, five wide? Sure, why not? I mean, this house is going to be right next to the marketplace. Uh, it's in the center of town. It's probably going to be pretty big because they're going to be kind of rich. But, first of all, my idea, or another idea I had, is I want this place to have like a sort of uh, integrated stall sort of thing. So, basically my idea is the people live in this house, and maybe, like, upstairs is where they sleep, and, like, they actually live. But then downstairs, they can have, like, a kitchen, but then maybe, like, a little counter where they sell things. But it's not, like, a, like one of these. It's actually integrated, like, as a part of the house. Make a craft table. And... Let's re make some stairs like this, that, and the other. I could do three wide and then have that just be part of like a wall so that the uh, counter is about. Or no, I think actually I could poke this out of it so it's like, like just like that. Not that drastic, but I, I think I want to sort of like give this uh, a bit of separation. Once again, sort of breaking out of that one, two, three, one, two, three, like three, five, whatever intervals. Um, uh, these. Um, let's see. So, since this house is supposed to sort of like crane or like lean over, it's probably gonna be one, two, yeah, probably gonna be one, two, three, four, uh, beam, one, two, three, about that tall, which is pretty tall. One, two, three, four, beam. One, two, three. Wait, that's one too tall, is it? That is. Okay, hold on. Let's see if you can fly up here and remove that little bit. That's a nice height, I think. Then, two, three, four, beam. I'm just gonna sort of leave that like that for now. Then, this little stall. Probably gonna have a bit of a crane, like a rooftop. I want to make it out of dark oak where is our dark oak? I probably want this to be the maximum height of our like overhang. Probably coming down to like here, like that, with some stairs, probably like, like this with the overhang like that. I kinda like that. And then um oh spruce in those corners if I can reach there. And there. I think it might be too wide at the top. It might be smarter to get rid of this pole at the top and just turn it back into a three tall or a three wide at the tip. Yeah, that might be a smart idea. And then we can come in here. And depending on what we make the roof out of, just integrate this as part of the roof. Does that make sense? Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. All right, well, let's grab some carrots because we're kind of hungry. Um, nom, 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 nom. Okay, speaking of which, though, we should probably figure out what our roof is going to be out of. 
I honestly, I like the idea of spruce wood. Spruce is probably just fine. Um, but I am realizing I do not need to be wasting spruce logs, as we probably have plenty of spruce bits and pieces we can use. Yes, we do. Alright. Okay. Let's bring this along. I'm honestly thinking, though, we could bring this back to the 3Y as we come back here. Sort of keeping this as almost like an extension while the actual house is more of a natural shape. I mean, this can have a separate roof, whatever, whatnot. That's sort of heavier. And this can be an extension sort of bit. I want to remove. Alright, so what do we want to put here? Um, I'm thinking just a window. It's probably fine, because you're going to want to have, like, you know, a window where they can see the bustling city or whatever. So, just a little window is fine. That's, a, that's just like a tiny little extension bit. Then, just to sort of mark out real quick. Don't know what I'm gonna put here or here up there, but we can leave that for now. Um, do we need to figure out what these people are gonna be selling? I don't know. I'm trying to think of something to sell. It could be a bakery, but there's already wheat there. I do kind of like the idea of a bakery, though, because it'd be kind of cool if there were, like, a bakery and then they had a kitchen, like, right behind where they sell the food. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Pumpkin pie, bread, and cake are the three things that this place is going to sell. Uh, okay. What is the ingredients for cake? I haven't made a cake in this world yet. Let's just see. We need milk from cows. Um, how many buckets? It's three buckets, right? Isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. One, two, three, no, fuck it. Four. Eggs and wheat and sugar. Um, eggs. Eggs. Uh, I'm pretty sure we just need one or two. Wheat is over here. One, two, three. And sugar. Should have some sugar. Yeah, there we go. Is that all the things for a cake? Yes! Three wheat, two sugars, an egg, and three milk. Yay! It's our it's the first cake of the world. Well, I'll just put it next to the dogs. Um, but really, uh, we actually do need to bake some cakes. So I have sugar cane. You can make that into sugar. I don't have many eggs, and I don't actually have any ch chickens. That could be a bottleneck. Honestly, nine cake is probably good though, I think. Wheat's another issue, but I can fix that real quick by just like using some bone meal. And then milk is the only other thing we need. And that's just gonna be kinda tedious to get from the cows. Alright. Awesome. Ninth cake acquired! Alright. Now actually we still need you for some bread. But that's pretty easy. We'll just make a stack. Way now, what is pumpkin pie? It's pumpkins and milk and sugar, right? Oh, it's just sugar and eggs. Hmm. Eggs. Do not have any eggs. Okay. I am guessing I probably should not have just made all of our eggs into cake because we could have used some of those eggs to make chicken. All right, well, I guess we're gonna go grab some chickens real quick. I'll be back in a second All Right, we got some chickens finally I'm Very glad I had these ladies Let's bring these guys over here. Come on. Don't break the leaves with any valuable. Also, don't go into the nether portal. That would be not good There you go. You guys will stay there for a second. I need let's grab our redstone box so, hopper, and a chest. That's it, right? Yep. That's... That's literally it. <laughs> That's surprising. Alright, uh, no, we also need some building blocks. I'll do it out of spruce, because why not? I might as well... You know, while I'm at it, I might as well waste more building materials. So, chest goes here. That goes here. That goes here. Alright. Give me all of these. Come up here, guys. It's not that hard. You got this. Come on. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. 
Oh, that guy, see, that guy's doing it. Yeah. You guys, too. You guys, too. There you go. See? Not that hard. Anyone can do it. Come on, you guys can, even you guys can do it. Come on. I'm probably going to need to get a proper chicken farm at some point, but um, for now I'm just leaving that for future projects. Come on. Great. Now we break the leads. All the leads should have broken and should be in here. Awesome. Get rid of all this crap. Okay, that should get us some eggs eventually. And then whenever eggs do happen, I can just spit them back into the machine. More chickens, make more eggs. Rinse and repeat. What were the other ingredients for the pumpkin thing? Sugar and pumpkins. We have plenty of pumpkins. No, I don't need to make pumpkin pie. I can buy it because I'm rich. Yeah, I can. Oh, oh, hello, sir. How did you get here? You're not allowed to be here. But I, yeah, I can buy this crap. I don't need to make pumpkin pie. I can buy it from this dude. Yeah, 16. There we go. That easy. Literally that easy. God dang it. Ugh, I'm not very intelligent, as you can tell. Then again, didn't you already know? Okay, let's take these pies. Put them back over here. In there. That's the last of our little bakery items slash things. So, okay. What next for this house? Real quick, I'm just going to fill this in. There we go. Then, I think I might bring this down one almost. So you, probably, you won't be able to tell that this beam is here because the roof is there. The roof sort of covers it. So yeah, I might actually just bring that down like that. And then, of course, there's a little bit there that we need to fill in. Yeah, no, it does need to match. The way I am doing the roof style, because the roof is going to be sort of, like, hanging over top, for the roof to get that sort of effect, it has to also sort of sag a bit, have a bit of, like, flexibility, a bit of bend. And so I want to make the roof sort of, like, sag in the middle. I don't know how that would work on an angle like that. So we're just going to leave it like that. Walls have been filled in. We can do some buttons on the sides. Because they look pretty. That was like adding buttons. Because it just... I don't know. Just like adds a tiny little accent. That always helps out. Especially like when you have stone buttons and they look like little, little rocks. And when I'm bored, I can just run around on the pads and press the buttons. Anyway, uh, back to what I was doing. So, let's now figure out this roof style. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do um, similar to these roofs because this roof is going to be sort of tall and so flexible, as I've said like four times already in the past minute or so. This, Jesus, we're running low on uh, spruce, so we need to sort of conserve our resources here. Anyway, um, stairs are just going to start like this. And there. And it's going to work in the same way. So let's actually hop back on top. Lock. Stair. Stair. Lock. Stair. Stair. Wait, no. Just like that. Wait! Oh my god, no, I messed that up awfully. Why did I put this roof there? No, this roof is supposed to go, like, here. Yeah, yeah, I'm... <laughs> I put the roof way too low, give me a second. I'm gonna get this roof shape in. Alright, so I got a bit of a roof up oh, top up here. A bit of a roof, uh, situated out with these little overhanging bits. We can actually probably hop down. You can see it sort of sags down a bit, and it... And it just perfect, perfectly like grazes past that little bit, which is awesome. I'm realizing I do also need to pop some planks in there. But that is that roof done. I'm realizing though I might want to replace this with dark oak because it's blending in a lot with this. So real quick, I'm just going to replace that. 
And then I think we can start getting some wall details and whatnot. Okay, replace that up. Okay. That's that. I think it does separate um, that a bit as well from this. Now you all you will notice these walls are very bland. Um, I do need to get rid of this little scaffolding bit. The walls are very bland because nothing's really going on. There's not much happening. So first, I do think I want to put a window right at the top here because, you know, whoever lives here will want a nice view over top of uh, all the townsfolk or whatever, people that are just hanging around. So thinking of bringing this down one and I don't have any glass panes, let's go grab some real quick. Too tall is good, I think. And then that's a nice little window bit there. I think I also want to do a little flower basket underneath the window, but I want to try some oak trapdoors. Because I think I've been using a lot of spruce trapdoors recently. I just kind of want to mix it up a bit. Oh, um, what flowers, what flowers, what flowers? We need three flowers. Um, kind of want to do dandelion and cornflower. I don't actually have any cornflower, so I gotta grab some real quick. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Ow. There should be some over somewhere over there. Yep. <laughs> just grab all these flowers. I mean you no harm. Literally just wanna grab some flowers. Give me back my flower. Mine. They're not yours. Okay, so we got our flowers. Let's just hop down here. Boom, boom, boom. There, 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 there. Flip all of those up like that. We can, and put our little flowers in. Kind of pretty little detail. It's nice. Then, uh, oh. We need to add in texture incoming. It is looking very pretty. Hey, uh, welcome to the end of the episode. It seems abrupt, and that's because it um it is. I, as I have done multiple times before, or maybe only once, but I've done this before. I record too much footage, and I don't know what to do with it. And rather than you know, crunch myself this whole weekend to get like a 35 minute episode out. I'm just gonna cut it in half. So, this first half is the exterior, and uh, next week, uh, next Sunday, episode 12, part 2, will just be the interior. Uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> this one's already almost nearing 20 minutes long, which is about the normal size for a full episode. So, I need to end this off quickly. Uh, but without any further ado, if you like the video, like the video, relatively straightforward. If you're new around these parts, and hit that big red button at the bottom right hand of your screen. So, thanks for watching. Hey, welcome to the end of the end of the episode. Uh, right here, or right now, we are in the stream project. So, as you all know, we have been doing some terraforming with that little path, campfire area, and I think I gave you guys a little update on this cliff. So, I uh, died. Um, anyway, uh, basically, I just wanted to give you guys another update on this little cliff. We got some trees hanging over the edge, some leaves, some leafy greens, and pretty recently, only a few days ago, ignore the weird water, um, we have just... I should probably actually be using cylinder shaders because they look a little better. We've been terraforming out mostly just this uh, upper area, but we've also now soon moved into this lower area with a bunch of, you know, little green bits and bobs and coarse dirt and whatnot into this little river, terraforming it up as well as this bank along here and a bit of like a depository for all of the sediments that sort of come along into this area. But, that's the end of the end of the episode. I just wanted to give you guys yet another little peek into some of the stream projects we've been working on. 
Uh, without any further ado, I'm gonna send this one off, though. Get a nice backdrop. I'm gonna send this one off. Uh, I will see you guys again next Sunday, or earlier, if I'm streaming.